Rational periods. Thus far, we have only calculated periods that have been a factor of pi. We call this an irrational number because pi itself is irrational. But what if our horizontal scaling coefficient is also a factor of pi? In other words, what if we put a pi inside the brackets of sine or cosine? Let's take a look at an example. Given sine of 2 pi x, find the period. So applying our formula for calculating period, we take 2 pi and divide by our coefficient, which in this case is also 2 pi. 2 pi divided by 2 pi gives us 1, which is a rational number. Thus, we can gather if our coefficient inside the brackets contains pi, we will end up with a rational period. Let's take a look at another example. Say we have cos of 2 pi x all divided by 3. Once again, we apply our formula for period. We take 2 pi and divide it by 2 pi over 3. The 2 pi's cancel out, and we're just left with 1 over 1 over 3, which we can simplify to be equal to 3. Thus, if we are given a sinusoid of this form with a coefficient 2 pi and some integer in the denominator, we can instantly determine the period. Furthermore, we can create a general template for these sinusoidal functions. If we can manipulate our function to fit this form, we can identify each piece of the sinusoid, where a equals amplitude, b equals phase shift, n equals period, and c equals vertical translation. However, don't rely too heavily on tricks such as these, as sinusoidal functions can come in all shapes and sizes. The safest method is to find the period using our 2 pi over n equation and going from there. Let's look at one final example, where we try to identify each part of a sinusoid. Identify the amplitude, phase shift, period, and vertical translation of the following function. 3 times sine of 8 pi x plus pi over 4 plus 3. So admittedly, this is a tricky question. We have pi as well as another coefficient in front of x. While you could mold this into the template form that we've previously showed, let's try and tackle this just using our period equation. So, in order to utilize the period equation, we need to get the x out on its own. So let's try and factor that 8 pi out of there. Dividing 8 pi x by 8 pi gives us x, and dividing pi over 4 by 8 pi gives us 1 over 32. So thus, this gives us a new term of 3 times sine of 8 pi times x plus 1 over 32 plus 3. So, now that x is out on its own, we can take that 8 pi coefficient and plug it into our period equation. So, period is equal to 2 pi over 8 pi. This gives us a period of 1 over 4, which as expected is a rational number. We can then identify the remaining parts. If it helps, recall our general format for sinusoids. We see that our amplitude is 3, our phase shift is 1 over 32, our period is 1 over 4, and our vertical translation is 3.